What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the shelf. Been away for a little bit, but today I'm back to talk holiday horror movies. Now, when it comes to horror movies, obviously Halloween is king. They get the lion's share when it comes to Halloween horror movies, and just horror movies in general. A lot of them just are synonymous with each other. There are a lot of horror movies that you can watch on Halloween that don't even necessarily take place on Halloween, and it still fits. Now, in second place, gotta give it to Christmas. Christmas has a ton of iconography that is related to horror, or can be, if you twist it a little bit. But when you start to look at like what comes in third place, it really is like anyone's game. It could be like Valentine's Day, they've got My Bloody Valentine uh, and the remake, and you've also got that 2000s movie Valentine from the director of Urban Legend, I think. But then you could also give it to Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving has a handful of horror movies, uh, and that's what we're here to talk about today. Um, and just why I don't think Thanksgiving really lends itself to horror movies. As well as most holidays, but particularly Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is fresh on the brain for a lot of us. We are currently in the wake of Thanksgiving. Eli Roth's Thanksgiving just came out recently, and while I did enjoy that movie, I don't think it's quite on par with some of the great slashers uh, being Black Christmas and Halloween. Now, I understand that expecting these movies to kind of rise to those heights is unrealistic, uh, and I would agree with that, but on the one hand, I also just don't think Thanksgiving is a holiday that lends itself to a horror movie, whereas those other two do. Halloween is self-explanatory, don't really have to go into that, and then Christmas, Christmas is universally considered a just a nice time it's a nice it's a good time you spend with your family and while thanksgiving shares that there's something more pure about christmas where when you take that and then you invert it and make it something like perverse and disturbing it just it's more effective um because you just don't expect it's like it's like killing a kid in a horror movie it's just like it's just not cool but thanksgiving is just it's just not, it doesn't have quite, you know, the right juice. It doesn't have, like, the, the stuff, you know? When you think of Thanksgiving iconography, what do you think of? I think of, like, pilgrims and turkeys. It's not very scary. If anything, it's just kind of silly. Um, you know, with Eli Roth's Thanksgiving that just came out, the slasher villain is just, like, this pilgrim dude. And, you know, I get it. It's, like... It's thematic, and we've had sillier things in the past, but especially in the modern day, I just don't think something like that plays very well. And maybe this is me having an issue with slasher movies in general in the modern day. I think so much of what we love about slasher movies can be attributed to the fact that they are older and they have that nostalgic retro feel to them. Modern day slashers, for me, they just don't quite hit the same, but that's another video uh, entirely. Now, I'm glad that Eli Roth's Thanksgiving is, first of all, it was even made, but I'm also glad that it's doing well financially and critically. People seem to be liking it. But by nature of the holiday itself, for me, it will always be inferior to some of its peers. Now, what even is, prior to you know, 2023 and Eli Roth, what is the best Thanksgiving horror movie? A lot of people would say, like, Blood Rage. Blood Rage is not a good movie. I think Blood Rage knows it's not a good movie, and that's what makes it so fun and charming. It's not cranberry sauce. But I feel like people watch it um, sort of out of obligation around the, this time of year, just because it's like one of the only like watchable Thanksgiving horror movies. You know, and I think that um, if Blood Rage didn't have any Thanksgiving themes in it, uh, it wouldn't be quite as lauded today as the sort of cult classic that it is now. And then, like, what else do we have outside of Blood Rage? We have, um... Thanksgiving. Now, I haven't seen Thanksgiving, but I've seen some videos on it, and I have a friend who's seen them, and, uh... They ain't Halloween. You know, they ain't Black Christmas. So that's kind of all we need to say there. Nice tits, bitch. That kind of speaks for itself. Christmas iconography 
is so much more, there's so much more to play with. You've got Santa Claus, elves, reindeer, snowmen, Christmas trees, gingerbread man, you know, there's the, it's, it's endless. There's so much stuff you can do. You've got the Christmas lights, obviously, you know, a, a Christmas horror movie with even, it, even the most mediocre Christmas horror movie that just happens to have some Christmas lights throughout it is going to get played on repeat for people around the holidays just because it has that ambiance. You know, it doesn't even really matter if the movie's good, but if you can channel that Christmas atmosphere, people are gonna watch it. Thanksgiving doesn't really have that. It just, it's not a holiday that lends itself to a good horror movie or a good slasher movie or, or what have you. You know, you could like delve into the history of the holiday itself, which is very horrific, but it's just, it's just not quite, it's not fun. You know, it's just not a fun thing. Um, and that's not me making light of, you know, that history, but it's when you start getting into that, I fear that you may have gone just too far in the other direction. And now it's not, we're not doing, you know, what we should be doing anymore. So yeah, that's my whole little diatribe um, on Thanksgiving horror movies. At this point in time, Thanksgiving will have passed. So we've got at least, you know, a week and a half, two weeks until I personally will start watching Christmas movies. I don't start watching Christmas movies until December 1st. Any earlier is blasphemy in my opinion. So with that being said, leave your comments down in the comment section below. Tell me what, what are some good Thanksgiving horror movies that I might have, you know, missed and something that I should check out. Prove me wrong, essentially. Um, I'm open to having my eyes opened as far as this is concerned. Uh, also let me know when do you start watching Christmas horror movies. I plan on doing a lot of videos in December about Christmas horror movies. It's one of my favorite genres of horror movies. Love Christmas horror. I only watch them in the month of December, which makes them that much more special to me. So yeah, can't wait for that. Stay tuned. Tales from the Shelf is here to stay. Uh, and with that being said, take care and watch more horror movies.